What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to go over something that I bet a lot of you know about but didn't even know you know about, okay? This is honestly the precursor to one of the most famous Pokemon out there, oddly enough, and if you guys know, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. This is one of my favorite Pokemon. Straight up, this is going to be essentially the real life origins of Charmander. The real life origins of Charmander, which ironically comes from, like the title of this video, Fireproof Salamanders. So I bet you guys didn't know that salamanders are actually fireproof. In reality, they're not. But the way that people seem to, the, but the way like this lore has happened around salamanders being fireproof is actually really interesting. So I thought we'd just kind of go over that today. I found a cool article about it. Before we do that, guys, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And let's go ahead and hop into this article. Like I was like, say though guys, I don't know the rest of these articles. I simply use them to push along information. This particular article comes from amphibianplanet.com. Please go over there and show them some love. And all that being said, let's get into this article. Can salamanders survive or withstand a fire? Salamanders are very secretive creatures. Due to this, several myths and legends have arisen about them over the centuries. Many ancient people believe that salamanders were fireproof and so cold-blooded that their bodies could extinguish the flames themselves. However, most of these legends are untrue. Salamanders are not fire or salamanders are not fireproof and cannot withstand fire. Being amphibians, they are very vulnerable to heat and other temperatures and other temperature extremes. The myth of fireproof salamanders arose due to their habit of hibernating in moist logs. When these logs were thrown into fires, the salamanders would wake up and emerge from the burning woods. This gave rise to their association with fire and the belief that they were fireproof. How the myth of the fireproof salamander arose. According to legend, in the first century CE, a Roman naturalist by the name of Pliny the Elder threw a salamander into a fire. He did this to see whether or not the salamander would survive the flames. Unfortunately, the salamander didn't survive. However, this did not stop the myth of fireproof salamanders from persisting thousands of years later. The reason this myth persists is most likely due to the real behavior of salamanders. Being amphibians, salamanders need to keep their skin moist and prevent it from drying out. This makes them hide in damp logs or stacks of wood kept outdoors. When people would use this wood to make fires, the salamanders hiding inside would wake up and escape the flames. Seeing many salamanders emerge from burning wood convinced people that they had been burst by the flames. Some people even claimed to have seen salamanders emerge from the fireplace unharmed by the fire. Though such salamander encounters are rare these days, they were much more common back in the day when wood was a major source of heating. Such salamander encounters kept on happening over and over again, and the legend of the fireproof salamanders lives on. Salamanders are semi-aquatic creatures, which means they live both in water and on land. This enables them to avoid wildfires that would kill other animals by hiding in the water. Some salamanders also thrive in conditions immediately after a wildfire when there is <clears throat> loose debris all over the forest floor. Ancient people did not know this, so they attributed their ability to survive wildfires to their fireproof skin. So this contributed to their belief that salamanders were immune to fire. Do salamanders like hot or cold temperatures? Salamanders are ectothermic, cold-blooded animals, meaning they rely on the environments to regulate their body temperature. This makes them vulnerable to temperature extremes. If the temperature rises and salamanders cannot move to a cool area, it can overheat and be killed or injured. If the temperature drops and remains cold for extended periods, most salamanders can freeze to death. For this reason, the majority of salamander species do best at warm temperatures, ranging from 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Other mythical abilities salamanders were associated with. Apart from their ability to withstand fire, salamanders also had had other myths surrounding them. It was said that salamanders were so poisonous that a single salamander falling into a well would poison the water and anyone who drank from that well would die. While salamanders are poisonous, the extent of their toxicity was greatly exaggerated. The toxins possessed by the vast majority of salamanders are not potent enough to kill humans. In addition, it was believed that salamanders did not have digestive organs and had saliva that destroyed human hair. Fortunately, none of these myths are true. Salamanders are just animals like any other. Cool abilities salamanders really have. Now we're getting into what they can actually do. While many of the myths and legends associated with salamanders are false, salamanders do have some cool abilities that are actually real. For one, they can regrow entire limbs, damage parts of major organs, and even their brain. This healing capability comes from their unique immune system and is unmatched anywhere else in the animal world. Imagine human being able to regrow amputated legs or arms while salamanders can. 
Their unique capabilities have gotten a lot of interest from scientists who are studying them with the hopes of being able to use this knowledge to improve healthcare. Another cool ability salamanders have is they can absorb and remit light. This is known as biofluorescence. It happens when protein it happens when proteins absorb light and then re-emit it at a longer wavelength. In the past, it was thought that only animals like jellyfish have this ability, but recent studies have shown this ability is also present in salamanders. I didn't know that. So salamanders are biofluorescent. That's actually really cool. That means if you're walking through the woods and you see, you could actually see a glowing salamander. Well, I guess if you had like the ability to see that right light. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, that's fireproof salamanders in a nutshell. Um, and you know, how they're not actually fireproof, but this is why everybody thinks they're fireproof. So I just thought that's kind of like a fun little deep dive into some lore and like, what it's really one of the cooler animals we have on the planet. And one of the origins of my personal favorite Pokemon, Charmander. So anyway, please let me know what you guys thought in the towel section down below. And while you're down there guys, please remember to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from me as well as follow me on all my social medias, which should be coming up next. And I will see you guys in the next video.